His performance in this game, horrendous. I, I cannot believe he played as bad as he did in this game. And we'll get, get into the plays here. And then I see this suspension. I don't know. One thing I want to say, you know, suspend the guy. It was a two-paragraph uh, announcement from the Packers. All right, suspend the guy. Announce that in the first paragraph. Contract, conduct detrimental. Um, but then why does the statement from Gutekunst have to say that, yes, we fully expect him to learn from this as we move forward together? We look forward to welcoming him, welcoming him back next week as a valued member. All that's obvious. I mean, the guy's got a huge contract. They can't move the contract. Just don't entitle the guy. Just keep him in his place. Say you're suspended. Forget all this BS about welcoming him back and all this. Make the guy learn from this. Don't put an arm around him already when you're the day you're suspending him. I just thought it was weak. It's typical of this general manager. Um, just cut and dry the guy, man. I mean, he's out of control right now. Tyler, do you want to go through his performance first here? And yes. After I, after I read of the suspension, I went back to my 2018 draft stuff, and I read all 15 or 14 of those scout quotes. And I didn't have a whole lot of really in-depth comments on this guy. I'm really disappointed in myself. Um, I didn't think he's going to be a first-round pick, really. But anyway, there was only one in there that said he was somewhat – had swagger, but they liked it. And the only other comment of anything about the things that we've seen from this guy is it was he's not the most physical player in the world. But other than that, there's nothing about his character, nothing about the kind of kid he was. Nothing about being a teammate, nothing about that. So I can't comment about his days at Louisville. I just don't know. But what we've seen, you you uh, mentioned the Samuel non-tackle. And let's just look at the way this guy played in this game. Shoulder, back, whatever. If he's on the field, that means he's cleared by the medical staff, Pat McKenzie and the trainers. So if a guy's on the field, I'm not giving him any break for not hitting or not being physical because of old injuries. He's on the field. He's ready to play. That means he's not going to be in position to hurt himself. Right, Tyler? All right. Agreed. Agreed completely. So, all right, we're going to go in chronological order, and it gets worse as this game went along. Hmm. The gentle shove on the tight end tremble after a 30-yard gain. Right down the seam. He could have delivered a blow. No, just a gentle little two-hand push. And that's the way this guy plays always played the game, and it was just so exacerbated in this game. I wrote down here, I'm just calling him Mr. Me. He's just so into himself, his body language, the way he plays. He will not extend himself to help anybody. All right. You know, he made a nice breakup on an inside route to DJ Chark, the ex-Lion Jaguar. And right away, look at me, you know, bounces up. Look how great I am, chest st sticking out. Um, that that five-yard reverse for a touchdown, he had a chance to deliver a blow as the guy was crossing the goal line. I mean, it wouldn't have been a roughing. No, he just he just pushed, uh, pushed inside, basically stopped. Um, you know, he's playing right corner now, Tyler. In the first couple of years, he was a left corner. Now, Stokes is no physical machine over on the left side. But you put your right corner, your worst tackling player, if you have a choice, at right corner. Running games tend to go right-handed. They're right-handed. Well, they're trying to hide him, but Carolina wouldn't, wouldn't allow that. But he didn't cover well. Um, he gets beat inside by Smith Marset, the guy from Iowa. Was he a free agent? I don't know. Gain of 18. Instant journeyman. He's been on like four teams in two years. Yeah. Um, poor tackle. He just tries a waist hug. Smith Marset gets an extra seven. But then he's an agitator. You know, a, a, a receiver or a running back can be down for like four, three or four seconds. And then he'll rip the ball out like he's, you know, a real tough guy. Uh, a bubble screen over in his way. They're going to throw bubbles to him, too, not over by the other side. They're going to him. 
he just gets Velcroed, and the gain is nine. I mean, if he fights the block, it might be a gain of five, but he doesn't care. Um, the tight end, Sullivan, he's peeking in the backfield. He he gets burned by Sullivan, um, and then he caught up to the play, made a pass breakup on the thing because the ball was thrown late, and he acts like some it was some great play. The ball was just poorly thrown by Young. Um, again, after any player's down, any ball player, he likes to strut around outside the pile as if he made some big hit. Talk about a fake tough guy times 100. Um, the Hubbard touchdown. He could have drilled that guy as he went into the end zone again. Instead, he just kind of, you know, whole hum shove, you know, obligatory. doesn't do anything. Um, he gets beat by Adam Thielen on a shallow crosser for 16. Thielen beats him across the middle. They run another reverse at him. Gain of 12. He didn't even resist the block. One of the safeties had to come and make the play. Third and 12, they throw him in the shark for 17. That's the one play he made all day. He kept going after that ball, and he forced the fumble. It's the third forced fumble of his six-year career. Got the ball out. It was a massive play. Third and two. He's playing too shallow over there. He comes up to the flat looking to make a play. The ball's thrown behind him, gain of 19. Just an elementary mistake. And then on that two-point play over on his side, showed absolutely no resistance at all. Just gets allows himself to get shoved in the backfield. Not only didn't he hit, but he didn't cover. Tyler, I really believe the, the Packers are better off, Justin Jefferson or not, with this guy out of the area, not in the bench area, not in the locker room, not on the team bus, not in the hotel, not on the flight. Put Valentine out there. At least he's going to battle. We saw him battle for the last month. Put Valentine out there. I'd rather play Ballantyne than this guy. This guy was pathetic in this game, Tyler. And 21.9196 million average, number one of the position. His cap number this year is 10.8. Next year it goes to 24.4. Missed 13 games in 2021 with a shoulder. Missed nine games this year with a back and a shoulder. Decides to play in Carolina because he's from Carolina. I mean, the whole thing is just terrible. You know, you pay a guy money, Tyler, and I can think of just dozens of scouts who always talked about that. You pay a guy, and you never know how he's going to receive it, how he's going to perform after that. And I've never spoken to this player in my life, so I really feel at a disadvantage here. But this guy, I got to believe that this money has taken him to a whole nother level. He like thinks he's Deion Sanders, but Deion got paid and he kept playing. Now he didn't hit, but he kept playing and challenging and challenging himself, going after receivers. This guy, he's not that good to begin with. And then the organization gives him all this cash. There's a lot better places to use this money than that. I'm done on this guy, Tyler. You have thoughts, right? Go, man. A devastating dissertation here from Bob McGinn that